Hello YouTube, it's Erbo here, and today I'm back with my third episode of Eat the Beast. I'm going to say third, it could be the fourth, I'm not too sure. Um, but it's definitely been a long time since I last recorded, um, but I have a lot of good news. It's not like I haven't been playing, I actually got a lot of the tedious, boring things done. Um, so let me just take two minutes to catch you guys up and just show you what I've done. Um, first of all, let's start off with armor. I made some new armor, um, as you can tell, it's nothing too, too advanced. Um, <laughs> advanced electric jetpack, not too advanced. Oh, I hear something. Look at that. Sound for like a pro. You could keep your head. Um, but yeah. So, this jetpack, it's actually not too hard to make. It's quite intimidating. I thought it was going to be a lot harder. Um, but I could actually just show you what it takes. Um, this part of it is really easy. Um, but the electric jetpack is where it starts to get a little bit tricky. Um, but yeah, you guys could just look this up yourselves. I don't want to bore you with that. Um, but I also made some quantum suit leggings. Now, this is probably the most difficult thing that I've made yet. Um, it's not that difficult to build. It's just the uh, supplies you actually need here. I can show you that also. Um, the radium plates are what is the hardest thing. It's the hardest thing to build um, for these particular leggings um, because it takes iridium. Now, iridium is not too easy to get. Um, you can find it in the ground, but it's really, really rare. Um, and I actually found only one piece being on this entire server, like, for, I don't even know how long, a couple months now. Um, but, you could actually get it from the end. There's an ore in the end called Sheldonite, and there's a few different ways where you could get Iridium from the Sheldonite. Like, I think you grind it, or, or, I don't know what the exact way is. Um, but that's what I did. I went over to Genocidal's house, and he has a bunch of machines. I always use the machines, he always gets angry, but, oh well. Um... But yeah, that's how I got my radium. So I made these pants. As you could tell, they have a really cool feature to them. Um, I could run really fast. I also swim pretty fast, too. Um, let's give this a shot. Yeah, as you can see, I'm definitely swimming really fast. Um, so that should make things go. That should make things go a lot faster. Um, now I also made these uh, boots here. They aren't really that hard to make. I'm not even going to show you. Um, and these boots, they give you no fall damage. So if I fly up and I just fall. As you can see, it makes the fall damage effect, the noise, but um, I didn't get any fall damage from that. Um, I also upgraded the MFE to an MFSU, and if the um, if the solar panels we have, if they get, if it can't keep up, you know, with my power consumption, I just take um, some of the the charcoal that we have over here at the charcoal factory and just fill it up that way. So that's why I have all those generators. It's a little bit messy now, but once I uh, you know become more power efficient. You know, I'm going to get rid of those generators. Now for the final thing that I worked on off camera. This is really, really cool. Um, it's just down in this hole. Now you're probably, got, you guys are probably thinking, what are these blocks? I've never seen them before. They're not the coolest looking things. Um, but I actually found these in the Twilight Forest. There's like this big brown tower. I don't even know what it's called. Um, but I just harvested these blocks with a Silk Touch pick. I'm not sure if you can break with an actual pick. Uh, but I use Silk Touch. And when you click on them, look what happens. They disappear and then they reappear in just a few seconds. So I think that makes a great way to just have like a little hidden shoot. Well, it's not too hidden, but you know, a little shoot in the ground to get get somewhere or even put them on the wall. Um, so now let me just take the time to show you what's down here. You may know a little bit of a, a difference in the landscape here. Um, I'll explain that once we get down here. So let's just hit these. There we go. Boom. Ta-da! Actually, clear this entire place out. I used a quarry. So that's why I had to clear out the trees up here just so I could place it. Um, and then I just filled it in like five blocks deep. I didn't want it to just be like one block thick or anything. A little skeleton. Let's snipe him. There we go. Um, but yeah, I dug this entire place out. And um, my, my vision is, you know, you fall down this little chute. And then on the left wall and the right wall, there will just be mobs falling down. You know, so we'll have, like, zombies, um, skeletons, you know, creepers, all that stuff just falling down, and then all of their drops will go into barrels. I'd like to automate it all so I could just have, you know, an abundant amount of resources. I could have, you know, zombie pigmen so I could gather gold from them. I could have iron golems, which is actually what we're going to be working on today. Um, so I could have infinite iron and everything like that. Um, now this is a tank in the middle. It's filled with mob essence. Um, that I need a mob essence to, uh, you know, complete my my vision basically um, I'll show you how to get that um, right down here 
I actually have a tier 5 pig spawner. I chose pigs because there's tons of them and it was really easy to get. Um, and they just fall down. They spawn. Um, I'll show you through the window. They hit these uh, conveyor belts. And then these mob grinders kill them. And all of their drops just get uh, voided. They get through the void pipe. Because um, I have so much pork already. Um, actually, speaking of pork, let me just eat this. Um, but yeah, these also get mob essence. So I have a liquid duct under here, and it leads into this tank. Now, the reason I have it leading into this tank um, is because, like I said, I'm going to have them on each wall, so I need to like basically take the uh, the mob essence from here and pump it into auto spawners, which I have one of these. I was just testing it out real fast. Um, I could actually show you that also. I think I have some liquid ducts on me. Yes, I do. And these freaking skeletons. Yeah, nice aim, buddy. Um, let me see if I can just break this. And I think I have something. Yes, I have it right here. This is actually just um, a safari net, and I have a iron golem in it. So let me just go ahead and stick it in there. And as you could tell, a second now. There we go, I'm going to take it out. I don't want to get a bunch of them. As you can see, it's just spawning these um, iron golems. So I could just have infinite iron golems spawning like crazy. And I could just kill them with like lava or like a lava blade or, or maybe even like pistons or something. And I could just gather their, their roses and their iron. So as you can see here, I got roses and iron. And I could have infinite iron. Um, and I'll never need to go mining for iron again, which should be pretty nice. Um, so that's basically what I've been doing off camera. Um, today we are actually going to work on the first farm, which will be iron golems, because I'd really, really like to get a uh, a um a good amount of iron, even though I already have tons. But oh well, something something to do, right? Um, let me just place this back. Wow. So yeah, we're basically going to work on that today. So let's just go ahead and get started real quick. Let me see. I'm not sure where I want it. I don't know if I want it on the right side or left side. Hmm. Well, I guess we could just start building it right here. So let me go grab some supplies. I absolutely love these blocks. I think they're so cool. I guess we could just start off by building with stone. I'm actually running out of stone. So I'm going to have a 2x2 two two shoot, probably. So let me just put this there, this there, and this there. You can cover the front with glass after I'm finished, but I'm going to actually take my jetpack off. Oh, damn it. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, I think it needs to be a little bit lower. How about there? Does that look good? Yeah, that should be fine. Okay, so let me just finish building up this tower, and I'll be right back.
Okay, guys, so I finished building the tower. I even built the uh, little, like, holding chamber up here. This is where all of the uh, mobs are going to spawn and hopefully, like, fall down here and uh, drop down to uh, this lava blade. I'm going to have, like, a lava blade, like, right there, probably. Um, so, actually, I forgot to put this wall in, so let me just finish this. Um, but, yeah, I plan on having, like, conveyor belts up there. Kind of like I did in the pig farm that you guys just looked at. Um, and it should push them all to the center. At least that's what I'm hoping. I don't know. I've never seen this before. And I'll replace all this stone with, um, hopefully iron blocks if this all goes well. But yeah, that should be good. Walk in. I can have barrels there. Okay, so let me just, do I have any conveyor belts? No, I don't. I think I have some up at my base, so. Let me go check up here. And I could even top off my jetpack. Yeah, my jetpack needs to charge. Stick this right in there. I think I have some here. Oh, oh. Yes, 18. I'm gonna probably need more of those. Um, do I have any rubber? I have 42 rubber. How many will that make me? Let me see. So I need three rubber. Hmm. Okay, well, I'm going to go ahead and make probably a stack of these conveyor belts, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I made a little bit over a stack of these uh, belts here, and I'm just going to go wing it. I'm not really sure <laughs> even if this is going to work, so it's just kind of trial and error. Um, I don't have my jet. Wow. Wow. Okay, so I'm kind of stuck down here. <laughs> Um, okay, so I guess we're just going to have to pillar up. Hopefully I have enough blocks. Do I have any more blocks on here? Hopefully this is enough, I don't know. I can't believe it. <laughs> I was trying to charge my jetpack, and I, I just can't believe I forgot it. I'm so stupid. Okay, we're at the halfway mark. We should have enough. There we go, we made it. Now I need to eat also. Oh my god. There we go. Okay. That was a bit of a disaster. I'll just get rid of these blocks later on. Looks like we have a party. Okay, so, back to work. Oh my god. Boom. Okay. So my plan is to try and get these guys to spawn on these things, and this will just push them right to the middle. Hopefully you guys could see me. Let me just light this up a little bit more. Okay. So, we want this, 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 and this, and this, 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 and, nope, not this, that. There we go. Okay, so let me just fill these in. This should work. Hopefully. Jeez. Man, these things are giving me trouble. There we go. Does that look right? This should work. Oh, wow. 
I'm gonna have to go make some more conveyor belts, aren't I? Oh, we could get an idea. Does that look right? Have these ones facing this way. That should be good. So if they spawn right here, for instance, let me actually take my jetpack off. We'll get pushed here. Then we'll get pushed into the chute. Okay, so this should work. Let me just go ahead and fill this in with the rest of the conveyor belts. I gotta go make some more of that, get some more rubber. Um, and I'll be right back. Okay, I am back. Um, I got my conveyor belts. I made another stack. We're gonna be needing them for the other farms. I just laid that the wrong way. No, don't take my conveyor belts. Ah. I'm confused now. That should go there. This should go there. Boom. There we go, that looks pretty cool. Okay, so that should work. In theory, it should. Um, next, we need to put the auto spawner up here. So, what does that require? It needs power. Um, which, okay. Power and fluid. Or mob essence, I mean. So how should we do that? Where is this in relation to that thing? Okay, I want this probably right about here. Does that look right? Is that in the center? It's not really a center to an even thing, but... And, yes, okay. So, let me count down just a few blocks. Iron golems, I think, are three high. Or, they're around three high, so. Hmm. I kind of want to make it right. Can I not hit this? Why can I not hit this? Yes, okay, so that's going to be the location of the auto spawner. I made this too high right here, just so golems cannot spawn on top of it and, you know, mess it up somehow, I don't know. Um, so actually, let me go grab that. Hopefully, I could break it with a pick. And, okay, it worked. I thought for sure I was going to break it, and then I was going to have to remake it. Boom. All right, I'm going to attempt to have the hmm. I guess I could have the power come down from the top. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm gonna have the power come down from the top. So let me go ahead and dig that out. We are getting pretty close to the surface. So that's one. That should be the second one. Okay, so one, two, three, four. And then five and six. Okay, so 
I should have some more liquid tesseracts right in here. Yes, I got plenty. Come on. I'm telling you, this jetpack is a curse. Did that connect? Please tell me that connected. Yes, it did. Okay. I wasn't sure if I could actually even place it on the top. Look at that skill, man. Get actually keep up with it. Jinx myself. Boom, boom. Here, I kind of want to have it come. Oh my god. I think I need to hit it with this. I should not replace my bow. I should replace my axe. Okay, so. I kind of want to have like a area where all of the different, um, Different farms could connect right here, so I could just have them, you know, leading right in. Where was that guy? Look at this guy, man. He could track me from like a mile away. I'll clean up this room down here, like off camera. Like I said, this is just like a rough design. I've never built anything like this before. Okay. So that's how we're gonna do the liquid. Or well, not the liquid, the um, mob essence. Right? Yeah. Then I'll have. I will have the um, the power go on the other side. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and do the same thing, but with the um, these things. What are they called? I don't even know what they're called. With the copper cable, you can't get me. Um, yeah, so I'm just gonna follow this pipe with copper cable up to the auto spawner, just so it gets power, and I'll be right back. Okay, guys, so I'm back. Um, I just got finished um, placing all of the wire, so we should be good on that, and it should work now, unless I'm forgetting something. Let me just go ahead and stick this net right in here. Oh, damn. I don't know if I'm going to be able to with these stupid belts. I apologize if you can hear my dog barking right now. Hopefully you can't. Wow. There. Hold on, I'll be right back. Let me just take care of my dog. Okay, guys, so I'm back. I just took care of my dog. I killed him. I skinned him, and I just ate him for dinner real fast. So I'm back. Um, let me just go ahead and stick this in there. It should work. Maybe. Why is it not working? How do I pump stuff? That's my issue, it's not being pumped. 
Hmm. How do I make it pump? Okay guys, so I'm back um, after a good 30-45 minutes of searching the internet. Um, I finally just got Genocidal online and he helped me out. Um, basically, here, I'll show you the issue. Um, I'm so stupid, not really, it's so simple. Um, I need to, to have a wooden pipe, I guess, wooden transfer pipe. or um, For uh, the valve, yeah, I can't speak right now, I don't know why. Um, so I need a wooden transport pipe going to, I guess, I don't even know what this is called. What is this? Cobblestone waterproof pipe. There we go. Please tell me I didn't just mess it up. Let's see. Okay, it works. Okay, so I haven't even tried the auto spawner yet, but that was my issue. I didn't have that wooden thing there. So now it should work. Yes, it's pumping in. Let's go ahead and give it a shot. Can I reach? No, I cannot. Let's see. There we go, man. Look at that. And they're falling down the hole. Oh, boy. I didn't put the lava trap in. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. No, 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 no. No, oh my god, I'm screwed. I'm so dead. Do I have any blocks? Mm. Don't kill me, don't kill me, don't kill me. No, no, no. Oh my god, I'm almost dead. There's so many of them. That was so stupid. Look at that aim. Good thing I have this powerful bow. Did he really just climb over that? Okay, so this hole, I can already tell, it needs to be bigger. Haha, uh -huh. that's already a stack of iron, just in that little, what, 30 seconds? Okay, so let me make this bigger. Hmm. That actually means I need to make this entire thing bigger. Which I don't want to do. So, how can we solve that? Hmm. Will that actually just work like that? And then I can place, um... Damn it, this jetpack. And I could just place conveyor belts on that next level. Right like this. So do 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 do. There, okay, that should work. Let me just go ahead and plug this up down here. I don't mind killing them. That's not the issue. But I don't want them running. Running everywhere. Because if I die down here, I don't have a jetpack to get down. So. That's kind of an issue.
Yeah, they seem to be falling down a lot better. Oh, you bastard. Is that oh boy okay so it definitely definitely needs to be a bigger shoot I don't know how these guys are getting out Die, 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 die. It's probably extremely loud for you guys. I just want to apologize. Oh, don't fall down there. Look at that, man. That's perfect. Now, I won't be getting XP for this once I have it set up like I want it. Um, let's see in the spider eye. Um, but yeah, it should just have like a lava blade right here and it will just kill him instantly and then it will suck up all the drops. So I'm going to work off that, work on that off camera and I'll be back to show you guys that. And I'm not even sure how much time I have left to record. So uh, I'll take a look at that also, but hopefully you guys enjoyed so far. So I'll be right back. Okay guys, so I just got done checking um, how much time we have left. Um, and it turns out that we're actually going to run kind of uh, long this episode, which should be okay, because I know when I watch Let's Play series, um, I like them to be around 40 minutes, um, and that's how long this one should be. So hopefully you guys do as well. Um, I actually noticed that we got a gift from somebody. It's probably from Genocidal since he's the most advanced on the server. Um, it says Merry Christmas from Santa. I don't know why he put that, because it's summertime right now, but whatever. Um, he gave us a Scenarium part and 8 UU Matter, which is really awesome. We could actually make a solar panel with that, I think. Um, let's see. Yes, an advanced solar panel. Takes one Scenarium part, and since he gave us some more UU Matter, we could actually make a few of those, which is probably what I'm going to do off episode, or maybe even at the beginning of next episode, we'll probably make a couple solar panels. Um, which would be really, really helpful. We could probably get rid of these solar panels since the advanced solar panel is pretty powerful. Um, also, I'm going to work on the lab down there. I'm not really sure what I want to call it. Right now, it's just going to be called the science lab or the lab. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please leave a like, favorite, and possibly subscribe. Thanks for watching.